the general. Hey, what's up, Twitch? YouTube? This is the general bringing you guys another five player risk game world domination. The only man Twitch and risk consistently. The general has over 300 hours of raw risk content on YouTube, over 200 risk wins. You're looking at the man, the legend, the general, with the biggest risk library on YouTube facts, no cap, baby. All right. We got an interesting game tonight. We have one exception. Supercar, spam those emotes if you are not a stream sniper, please. Spam those emotes, my man. If you are not a stream sniper and you are going to be here for us to be kind. Because they're obviously watching the stream. Because you're not, if you're not watching the stream, how are you going to know the path game password? So I'm very curious to see what um, what Orange is going to do here. I have a really bad positioning here, like really bad. Uh, well, actually not, uh, let me correct myself, not horrible. Not horrible, but not great. Not horrible, but not great. Facts, no cat. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Orange is emoting, so I, I think we're up to no good. All right, let's see what Orange does. We're gonna obviously know what Orange is up to. The mod view is cool. Well, I'm and glad you enjoy it, McDep. So it kind of, I mean, it looks like, it looks like Orange is actually playing, playing the game. So that's bad news for me, Zachariah hitting the south. It's not good news for me. See, I thought Orange was for sure gonna, uh, gonna hit the west here, the west continent with a five there, for sure. Sure, hit that continent, really? Huh. Death with a nice positioning. I like the slow roll here. Gonna take the center probably early on here. Yeah, what's up with everyone playing chess all of a sudden, by the way? Wish Risk could blow up like that. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool, actually. Um, yeah, I feel like... Ch I don't know what it is, but the chess numbers on Twitch have been super high lately. Yeah, like, I, I've noticed that, too, actually, you say that, Dem. I feel like it, it is blowing up. Like, it's legit blowing up.
Yeah, I wish Risk, Risk would blow up like that. Yeah. It would be cool. I feel like Risk is... It definitely has a community, but it's definitely small. But, yeah, I agree. I wish Risk would blow up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy, eh? Chess, I feel like, is blowing up. But Chess is, uh, is a good game, man. I'm kind of worried about Salty. I want to know if something's wrong. He might have just rage quit. Um. But yeah, no, it, you're right. Salty did rage last game and then... Yeah, Orange seems to not like me. Imagine they were, they thought... Imagine Orange thought, like, I was blue player, like I was Zachariah, but then realized that... But didn't realize, like, I'm actually red player or something. Yeah. See, that's a problem. They're definitely not spamming emotes. They're just basically here to probably cause havoc amongst the world, which is unfortunate, right? This is why I always want to approve, like, to approve them in chat. So if they do some ridiculous move or stream snipe, then I know who they are in chat and I can just ban them. You know what I mean? That's the reason why, like... Plus, then we know who you are. And then you can talk to us in the community. Like, obviously, that's a worst-case scenario. If someone is going to stream snipe, then I'll just ban them from the channel, right? But, I, I mean, at the same time, like I said, I let, I'm going to let this fly one time. One time. And we'll just see Orange's actions. If Orange acts like... A complete goon. If Orange acts like a, a novice, so brand new account, brand new account, or at least actually, that's a good idea. Let's see his um, games played three hours played two, so brand new player, literally brand new player, brand new player, brand new. Maybe Salty made an account is trolling. Haha, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Three games novice, so a brand new account. Rank 5 million, holy hell, yeah. <laughs> They, they're just focusing you, Zachariah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say here, Zachariah, is literally they're only focusing you. <sighs> no, I mean, I'd rather have a four-player game with legit players than an orange player just focusing one of us the whole time. You know what I mean? No, no even reason. Like, look at orange's position in the west here. Like, look at this. Easily had that West Continent. No, I mean, easily had it. I, I don't know what to do at this point. It's like... Yeah, no. It's okay. Um, It's basically like having a random player. Like, what I'm trying to say is it's, it's basically like having a random player in the game. I wouldn't say let's, we shouldn't all target orange, we should just let it be, but it's kind of upsetting, I'm not going to lie. I 
nice. Diego taking that continent, which is bad for me because I'm going to try to take the west here. McDad strong with that very strong with that center continent. It's worth so much. 8. Yeah, I would just say keep playing for the win, though, McDeath. Just play for the win. You got a really good positioning here, McDeath, in the center. I'm not going to lie. Imagine that salty made a brand new account and just was straight up trolling. All right. uh. You know what's funny? I almost think... You know what's actually kind of funny here? I mean, unless Orange is going for this continent here. Like, I'm almost considering... Okay, so Orange has not focused me one turn yet. So... So I'm almost thinking Orange is like a friendly stream sniper. And has something against Zachariah for some reason. Like, focus Zachariah heavily early game. Moved out of my way in the west. Broke Diego. See, I don't know if Orange broke Diego to break Diego or if Orange just wanted to move them over here to the east. Imagine it was salty. If it's a stream sniper, they're definitely a friendly stream sniper. Do you know what I mean? Because they definitely are not focusing me. See, the uh, streamers call, like, a friendly stream sniper someone who, like, like, in Fortnite, they'll just drop all their loot. Like, you guys, if you guys watch, like, I know you, McDeath, probably watch Fortnite streams and stuff like that, or any stream. But mostly in Fortnite, like, friendly stream snipers will just, like, start dancing in front of the, in front of a popular streamer or start dropping all their loot. Basically, a friendly stream sniper is someone trying to give the streamer an advantage in the game by giving them a bunch of loot or something along those lines, right? So I just feel like Orange is not focusing me, so they might be like a friendly stream sniper. Like, if Orange had been focusing me every turn, then I would be like, okay. Orange is definitely not like, or is definitely stream sniping me, but... Or, or, Orange is like, or Orange is clever. See, so I want to just give you guys a breakdown of my philosophy here, right? Like, look, look at this. I could easily break Diego, right? Listen, I could easily break Diego, right? But, McDeath has 67 troops. Like, even though Diego is bordered up on me, I want Diego to be strong because he's also bordered up on McDeath here. So, like, my play here, because McDeath is such a, a huge superpower on everybody right now, and plus it's going to cost me troops and resources to hit Diego, 
I actually end my turn here. And I just defend. Because like I said, I just want my continent. You know, if Diego breaks me this turn, then I'm in trouble. But at the same time, McDeath has 67 troops. We all need to be very, very cautious here. About the whole situation here, right? So that's my reason. If, if McDeath... If McDeath had... 30 troops here and didn't have the center since uh, the beginning of the game I would maybe cons there'd be more reason for me to break Diego but I don't want to break Diego and make us weak and then as soon as McDeath trades in for 25 can eliminate Diego for five or four cards and it's my fault that Diego is so weak at that point right that's my thinking anyways. I'm thinking long term right I'm thinking long term yeah I could break Diego there 100% I could break I could do it but if I keep breaking Diego, especially if I create a vendetta situation between me and Diego, McDeath is just now getting that center continent, getting so strong on the world, and most likely me breaking Diego there is going to give McDeath a better advantage over the world, is what I'm trying to say here. You always got to think balance of power, right? Because McDeath is so strong, I'm going to let other opponents take... Um, oh, I forgot about that. Blue's got to take this one. Ter For Blue to have that continent, they need to take my easy one there. And that's the reason why I didn't push my guys out to here is because I know that. And I don't mind Blue taking that continent because, like I said, McDeath is so OP. This also becomes a buffer state between me and McDeath. So this is how my mind works when we're playing. When I'm playing, right? I'm always worried about whoever has the most troops, especially in progressive. Plus, McDeath acts before me, so... It's kind of like... Like... It's kind of like pos uh, positioning, right? I it's it's it sucks to be it sucks to be in the position behind the superpower because the superpower can do so much and then you have to react to like I mean, sorry. I mean, it's kind of like in the sense if someone was weak enough, if someone was weak enough to get eliminated, and then McDeath goes before me, and because of the superpower, they're most likely going to get the elimination over over me. So in a sense, I'm at like a disadvantage because McDeath here can honestly just take... Basically, McDeath can do the elimination before I can do the elimination. Because they have so many troops, they're in such a good position to do so. So I have the trade in here. Unfortunately, don't have anything. Doesn't really too much to matter. I just wanted to check what I had real quick, just out of curiosity. So, I mean, I'm kind of the secondary superpower here, so in a sense, it's my duty to actually break McDeath. Plus, I, I kind of need a force out in the east anyways. We definitely can't let McDeath have that. I am going to leave 11 there and end my turn here. McDeath very strong with 82, my god. This is actually a good game here.
See, the problem with me having the West here... And, like, why I need a force in the East is so... When the trade-ins get big... When the trade-ins get big, I'll have an option here to eliminate an opponent here in the East. Because my 10 is locked up, because Blue is most likely going to get this territory eventually. This 10 is locked up on, on, D8, on Green's border. I kind of need... Kind of need a force out in the east here so I can get eliminations uh, down the road, you know? So we got this stream sniper player. I don't know if they're focusing me now or what's going on. I mean, I'd rather have played four players than just kind of have a liability player like Super Car Igniter. They're obviously not stream sniping. I think they're just like a new player and they don't know exactly what they're doing. I mean, I wish they would say in chat, be like, hey, I'm, I'm so-and-so in chat. And then... And then we can give you tips and advice and let the community, uh, the general can give you tips and advice and the community can give you tips and advice. I, I, I think Bunny says, what is he even doing? I think Orange, I personally think Orange is very new to the game and doesn't know exactly what they're doing. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, Definitely, Orange definitely seems very new. Orange is, seems to be focusing uh, Zachariah a lot. So Blue there getting their continent. Like, in a sense, I kind of feel bad for Blue because... Um, or for uh, Zachariah, because uh, Super Car Igniter, the... Like I said, I'm letting this slide one time. You gotta say who you are in chat for me to play with you, but this Super Car Igniter is like the luckiest player ever. But obviously, if Super Car Igniter comes in next game, I'm gonna have to kick him out. I wish he would just say something in the chat. Or Super Car Igniter. Listen, spam the emotes. Spam the emotes if you're watching the stream right now. Spam the emotes if you're watching the stream and you're a new player. So how you spam emotes is you just click on your name. Click on your name. Like, see how I'm clicking on my name? And then see these emotes here? I, I can spam. Just do that. Spam all the emotes, Orange, if if you're watching the stream and you're new to the game. Yeah, everybody spam the emotes. Just spam the, all the emotes right now and see if we can get Orange to do so. Spam. Spam with us, Orange. Spam. One of us, 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 one of us. Spam with me, Orange. Spam with us. Spam away, Orange. Spam. Feel free to spam. We're all spamming. You can spam too. It's easy. <laughs> all right, Orange is not going to spam. I don't know. I don't know what the thing about Orange. They're obviously watching the stream. Orange is obviously watching the stream, so we know Orange. It's Yorkie throwing all the emotes. Yo, spamming the emotes in chat. Yes. Yeah, I don't even know. What's, uh, what's Orange's deal? 
I don't know. That's see, that's that's why you gotta tell me who you are in the chat, right? See, it would have been cool if Orange actually like went for a continent and tried to like win the game, like you know what I mean, and was fair. But it seemed like they were focusing Zachariah. Death is huge, bro. Just huge. Just huge. Oh. What is Orange up to, man? That, that is a question. I would love to see, like, what Orange is thinking right now. I mean, Orange is... I, I honestly think Orange just is a new player. I honestly think Orange is just a new player here. I mean, it looks like they are going for a continent. Yes, Aid, how are you doing? Uh, no, that's I'm I'm good here, Aid. I'm, I'm still just working on my supper here, and I still got some water. Thank you, Aid. I appreciate it. All right. I mean, it's gonna be a tough situation here. Regardless. So I think Orange is going for their continent, a continent here. Yo, what's going on, Andrew Yang? How you doing? Purple looking good. Yeah, they are looking really good. Like, really good. Death trading in for 20 here.
Excuse me. I mean, that sucks pretty bad for me there, I'm not gonna lie. So that basically forces me to trade in here, not gonna, gonna be honest here. That's a tough situation for me now. No, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it's a fair play. It's a fair play. Especially if no one breaks you there, then... McDad, don't be sorry for that, man. It, it's a smart play. You got me out of there. It doesn't look like anyone else can really... Like, I don't... Well, we'll see what happens, but... Yeah, Andrew Yang says Orange looking bad. Yeah, Orange is... Uh, Orange is a random player. So I made one exception, Andrew Yang. I, I let Orange player... Even though they didn't say who they were in chat, I let them play with us. But I think they're... I think they're just a newer player because they only have three games played. They're a novice. They've only won one single player game. Only played two hours. Yeah, no, Jorky says it was a good move, McDeath. I agree with you. From your perspective, it was a good move. You get me out of there. You take a second continent. Um, now I don't have the option to break you. Now it's up to someone else to break you. Yeah, Jerky says, I was wondering if you were going to do that. And honestly, but I kind of knew those armies had, <laughs> had stayed too long. I'm like, ah, should I get these out? Like, I was pondering maybe I should get these troops out here. But at the same time, I don't want to give you two continents. You already have double the troops of everybody on in here, so. Well, maybe not Diego. Diego's doing all right. trade in here. Big trade in. Bringing their numbers basically right up to McDeath's numbers actually. And the trade ins are, are getting big now.
Diego playing this smart here. Diego going for a lot of territories here. Wow, going for three continents here. Very interesting. Very interesting play here. Huh. Very interesting. Huh. So, oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. I'm shocked. So, I think because it's balanced blitz, I have to go for orange elimination, but I mean, it's still going to be kind of close because I got to go through this screens three first. But I get an insta trade and I think it's my only play for 35 if I do it. I mean, I, I think I have to go for it. Regardless, I have to go for this because it's a uh, balance blitz. True random, I'd feel very uneasy about what I'm about to do. But since it's balance blitz, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Still gonna be like it's still pretty close. I mean, just because it's true random, I would have been in true random. I would have been in a nightmarish situation. But I get the trade in for thirty-five here. What's up here? Okay. Got 20 there.
Yeah, oh shit, Andrew Yang, kill blue, yeah. I mean, I guess for 35 balance blitz, I almost should have. I have this 15 active here. Oh, I should have definitely took out blue out. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, man. I do have to take the four out here. Yeah, second continent, fortify it. I mean, it, it, it could have went either way. What's the trade-ins at again? They're at 40 and blue had 57 balance blitz. It probably been, it would have been worth it, but it's, it's such a weird map that I almost just want to get a second continent. It's kind of one of those situations where I'd rather just get a second continent and let blue have their second continent. Blue's going to trade in for 40 here. See, if I eliminate blue there, I trade in for 40. I lose about 40 uh, eliminating blue, but still, I'd get five cards. Which would give me... Actually, sorry, that would have gave me... That would have gave me a double trade in. Wait, no. Oh, yeah, would have. Yeah, it would have gave me a double... Yeah. Yeah, no, Andrew Yang, though, like... Sorry, I think I would have had a double trade in there. Actually, Andrew Yang makes a good point. I would have had a double trade in there. That could have um, changed the factor of everything there. There's no, like... That's what I mean. Because the numbers are... The trade-in numbers are only at 40 right now, and we're at 104, 93. Either play is not a bad play, though. Taking... Eliminating blue there is not a bad play either. I definitely... I mean, that's the thing. It's risk. Like, I could have eliminated blue... Eliminated blue there, got a double takeout, maybe lost, like, not... Not, uh, not much. And then consider it... Considered, like, taking out green or something. EML says, General, can you try ranked public game? Uh, we could do a ranked game next game here. Uh, I mean, I'm always down for a ranked game. Jorky says, Capital Conquest, Small of the Dead, Progressive, I say. Yeah, could have got Blues 4 easily, I think. Oh, no. Oh, Zachariah. Zachariah is offline here. So, so maybe his power got cut off. Remember Zachariah said there was a bad storm and his power might get shut off? I think that's what happened. Zachariah is now offline and, and broke Diego. That sucks. I like that too, Jorky. Capital Conquest, Maul of Dead Progressive. Yeah. General, I'm so sorry I left last match. I had to go help my mom and dad downstairs. I feel so bad. Sweat, Mr. Salty, don't even sweat it, bro. Don't even sweat it, man. Do your thing. Yeah. Andrew Yang says the bot should do some good work. And Andrew Yang, I think by eliminating blue there, for some reason I had second continent in my mind my whole turn. And I didn't even size up blue there. But I mean, I guess it kind of works out because the bot is going to most likely not attack me. Maybe though, it might redirect on me, but still. But at the same time, at the same time, I think... I probably should have went for blue there. I had that 15 active...
kind of have to. I mean, I'm only getting seven. I'm only getting seven, right? If I break McDeath here, which might create a vendetta. But at the same time, McDeath will, is already getting eight for the center. And with my two continents, I'm getting seven. Green is getting seven. Blue is getting seven. So it's pretty equal. I kind of have to break McDeath here just because it's so weak as well. It's really weak, so I kind of have to. McDeath is still going to get quite a bit of territories here, though. So basically, I'm praying. I was hoping and praying that I would be able to hold my wild card, but I'm going to have to use it here, unfortunately. what the bot's going to do on their trade in though. We're, it's a pretty good game still though. We're all pretty even in troop numbers. All pretty even in, in cards. Um the, what the what the bot does when they trade in might be disastrous to whoever they hit here. Uh, in a sense now I wish I mean the double trade in would have been worth it eliminating blue there. I should have sized that up. Andrew Yang made a good point there. Yeah, the bot might hit that 5. I, 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 I might have to build that 5 up here next turn. I got a trade in, so I'll be able to build my borders up here pretty solid. death trading in here. I don't even want to look at the havoc that, that is going to uh, ensue here. I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm just going to use the facility, the general's facilities here. here on McDeath's turn here. What happened? So I got the trade in here. I gotta use 
use the wild card. So what happened? What happened exactly here? Diego's pretty weak with 64 cards. Ooh, I think I have to go for Diego's elimination here, right? I think that's the play here. Diego's elimination, right? 60 troops on balance blitz. Yeah, 100% I have to go for this. 100%. 100% I go for Diego's elimination here. 100%. 100%. Like I said, if it's not balanced blitz, I don't go for this elimination, right? Third continent, break purple. It's not a bad play. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. My timer was running. I'm not even paying attention. I thought I still had a minute. I, I actually fucked up pretty huge there. <laughs> I mean, fortify that third continent you just got, yeah. It honestly, it all comes down to what Blue's gonna do here, honestly. order to defend, so yeah. Oh, d yeah, GG. I'm going to have a bath. I will try to unite in the other. Okay, yeah, yeah, get back. Yeah, Diego. Sorry about the elimination there, Diego. I, I just felt like I had to do it at that point. Yeah, I should have definitely took a third continent and maybe break purple here. I mean, I now... Now blue's very weak though. I have a trade in here and blue's very weak. Blue's very weak with five, right? It's a it's a GG at this point.
Oh, that one's not connected there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, because now I've locked in my 54. Shoot, that's actually very stupid. It's okay. Oh, actually. <clears throat> what I could do here is something like this. Alright, GG guys. Yeah. Yeah, general kill blue there, so that's what I end up doing. Yeah, purple only had a small border defensive. Yeah, you shouldn't have spread yourself out too thin there at the end, McDeath. I think you're pl if you could have traded in, then you eliminate purple there. Or sorry, you eliminate blue there for five cards. Or at least focus the, he the heck out of me. But GG purple, yeah. No, GG guys. So guys on YouTube, please comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you guys tune in next time when the general takes over the world. Takes over Moscow, baby.